Welcome back to RaceNews.com. I'm Magic, and today we're taking a look at the feature race at Oaklawn Park on Friday, January 14th. Race 8 on the card. We have seven older males going six furlongs in this optional claiming event. And with me to preview the race is Aaron Halteman. Aaron, Oaklawn's your home track. You love this place. You're great at it, especially you've been great with these previews with picking a long shot that might do well. And that's very key here because we have two very short price favorites on either end. You've got the uh, CZ Rocket on the rail, Casadero returning all the way on the outside there. Lots of prices in between. Where are you going on top? I did go CZ Rocket on top, so we'll get kind of the top choice slash favorite out of the way here. Uh, you know, this horse, all he did last time out, or the last year, I should say, at Oakland Park was beat Whitmore twice. Uh, so, uh, and when Whitmore ran really good both times, and CZ Rocket was able to win. You mentioned it just before we got on here to record this. This horse does not run well without Lasix. Peter Miller uh, has said as much. So why he kept running in without Lasix after Oakland, you got me, Magic. But he gets it back today. That should be uh, good enough. And then also, it's very important to note, this horse has lost five straight, all in big-time stakes races. Graded stakes company, grade one, grade two events. So getting back to an allowance race, getting back on Lasix, getting back to Oakland Park, all three things should equal a win for CZ Rocket. A horse that is returning for the first time as a four-year-old is Casadero on the all the way on the outside, and this marks the the official uh, Joel Rosario, Steve Asmussen train. The hype train is going to be pulling out of the station, possibly with Casadero if he wins the feature here. But he is a short price, five to two on the morning line. If you're going to use him with CZ Rocket, it'd probably have to be in a straight exacta. Is that what you're going to do here, or are you going to try and use a different horse underneath? You know, I do think Casadero is the one that can beat him, but I'm going to try to hope that maybe he doesn't run quite as well. This is kind of a, you know, a bigger step up. I know he beat Allowance Company last time out. These horses are a little bit better. I'm going to take the long shot right to his outside. Number six, knee deep in snow uh, for Mike Baker. It's a second race off the claim for Mike Baker, so I'm, I'm expecting improvement. You know, last time out in a tough allowance, kind of similar to this one, got beat by some pretty good horses. Didn't run too bad, kind of was off slow, didn't really get into stride. This is a horse that needs to be near the lead, a length or two off the lead, not way behind like he was in that one. It was a muddy track uh, last time out. Hopefully we get a fast track. Who knows with Oakland this time of year, it's it's been hit and miss. But the weather forecast isn't too bad for Friday. So if we get a fast track, he breaks a little bit better out of the gate. Six to one price. I think he get every bit of that because CZ Rocket and Casadero is going to take the money. So number six, knee deep in snow, uh, is my long shot for this race. I love that pick. I'm quite familiar with him having been in California for several yep. years before Maker just claimed him and brought him to Oakland Park. And he is a horse that it, if you have the CZ Rocket and Casadero, if they don't fire off of the layoff here for whatever reason, this is a horse that I, and I think you'll get every bit of that six to one. Uh, very sneaky underneath. And like I mentioned, Aaron has been very solid with the long shots in these races. So whether you play him in a box underneath or even just as a win, uh, it's been working out so well, uh, well so far. So hopefully we'll keep it going. Head over to racenews.com. We have free picks for every race, every track around the country. At youtube.com slash racing dudes, we have major stakes previews, major stakes recaps, and full coverage of the Kentucky Derby, Kentucky Oaks, and the Pegasus World Cup, which is coming up in just a few weeks. Yep. You can go to racingnews.com and check out the inside track to the Pegasus World Cup wagering guide. It'll be available in the week leading up to the big event on January 29th. Hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Tell all your friends. Let us know in the comments who you think will win this race. We'll see you at the track.